what's up guys welcome to another episode on my youtube channel and today i actually have something good for you guys i figured you know i showed you my top 10 dividend company that are actually up in the portfolio and pushing the portfolio up so uh without further ado uh i'm gonna jump right into this video don't don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content for future video as well so as you can see the uh i'm just gonna the portfolio is value about fifty eight thousand and uh five five hundred dollars and six cents so uh, at one point i was actually up about uh fourteen thousand and this was about uh i think two weeks ago or like so yeah two weeks ago before before the before the downturn in the market so which was about i was up about fourteen thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars and eighty cents and after the downturns uh there was a bit of sell-off in the market so i've uh, been down uh about uh two thousand and some change but let's jump right into the dividend, the top 10 dividend companies that are actually up in the portfolio so number one so for the first one is cisco cisco i own about 38 38 shares in this company and as you can see i'm up 406 dollars and 78 cents this uh this is one of my favorite companies also i choose to buy cisco instead of intel i'm i think i'm gonna be uh, doing a bit research on intel maybe i could add it to my portfolio as well so it wouldn't really hurt but uh i love the dividend yield for cisco uh, which is about 2.64 percent so and i'm up about 406 dollars and 78 cents in the company so moving on to the next uh next dividend company that's up in the portfolio it's uh xom so which is our uh, exxon mobile so i'm up about 878 78 dollars and uh five cents i own about 52 shares in the company and as you can see it's trading at 60 dollars and five cents and with an average cost of 43 dollars and 30 cents so uh for Exxon Mobil, I'm not really buying any shares in the company and the dividend I get from the company. I'm, I'm actually reinvesting into the company as a dividend yield of 5.65%, which is actually about right up there uh, where I actually try to like put a cap on where I don't want to buy, uh, buy a, a company, a, a dividend company. So anything above 6%, I try to like stay away from it. But uh, that's why one of the reasons I'm actually not adding any more positions to uh to exxon mobile i'm actually thinking about actually also turning off the drip in this company and more focusing on getting any dividend i get paid in this company and put it in, into uh other companies or maybe put it into cvx instead uh then uh exxon mobile because uh for for um, i mean the, for the top three uh, the top two oil company which is cvx and exxon mobile i would actually rather put it in chevron than put it in exxon mobile because i love the way they are they are way the company is way diversified but uh moving on i'm going to be only uh holding the position i own here but i'm not gonna going to be adding more to this position uh at, at least for now but uh moving on the third one is also apple which i'm up about one thousand and ninety five ninety five dollars and thirty cents and as you can see i own 21 shares i haven't really added any more to apple since i think a few months ago when it was trading up about around 100 to 122 dollars so that's when i started buying more into apple but since it went up above 122 i haven't really bought the stock but i think the stock is still still at the price it is right now actually if you believe in the company but uh, at the same time i'm going to be this is one of the company i'm going to be holding for for a long long time until at least maybe the company uh, give me a reason to sell then but as of right now apple is one of the most valued company in the whole world so i'm going to be holding to this company for, for a while and as you can see, uh, it, it already gave me a return of 44.86%. So moving on to number four, which is uh, All Realty. All Realty, I'm up about $386.48 for one in four shares. 
so this is one of the companies to which it's up so as you can see i own 40 shares in the company and it's trading up around 68 dollars to be exact and uh, this is one of my favorite REIT company it's as a dividend yield of 4.04 percent and OVOT is one of the company I just would love to buy more and more and more and more of. I chose to buy this company more than any other REITs company. But also, I am also diversifying into other REITs company. But OVOT would be one of my top three companies to buy for REITs. And it's one of the favorite uh, company which uh, a lot of people talk about mostly for REITs okay so moving on to the next company is uh, Pfizer Pfizer is actually uh, has actually given me a lot of return for the past two weeks now so uh, it went from uh, as you can see it's up uh, it went it it was up about 22.52 percent in the last month and around 17.0 uh, percent in the past three months so uh and in the past five years it's up 70.65 percent so i actually i bought this stock also during the whole market downturn uh, which happened uh, last year so i own about 90 shares at the moment with an average cost of 34 dollars and 97 cents and as you can see the returns have been tremendous tremendously good for me and i own about one i i have a return of one thousand seven hundred and twenty three dollars and eighteen cents and there was actually a run up on pfizer uh this past uh last week and it's actually doing better too also this week so uh as you can see it went from uh which from last week which was around forty three dollars to fifty four dollars in a week or so so i'm gonna be adding i'm going to be adding more and more to pfizer i want to own more and more in this company because i actually i think they're gonna make a lot of money on the vaccine and also they actually make a better they make also a good uh drugs also on other on other illness too so uh moving on to the next one which is going to be uh starbucks Starbucks, uh, I have a return of around $381.65 with an average cost of $81, which I also started picking up during the market downturn. So with a share of 13, 13 shares. So trading at $110.25. This company has a dividend yield of 1.63%. So also, uh, just to put it out there, I might be wrong on the dividend yield because uh, Robinhood is actually not up to date when it comes to the dividend yield, but most of the time, I would say 75% of the time, or let's go with 65% of the time, the dividend yield is correct. But at the same time, uh, it's not accurate. So I would use other, uh, other, other, other website to check the dividend yield of the company. But the, well, I'm just gonna go with this. I know they have a good dividend yield of 1.63% for Starbucks. So moving on to the next company, which is our uh, SPG. SPG uh, gives me uh, actually I have a return of four hundred and seventy dollars and twenty two cents, and I think as of uh, yesterday I was actually up around five hundred and twenty dollars, I think. But today, as you can see, the downturns in the market, so I'm up. Uh, I'm up four hundred and twenty dollars four hundred and seventy dollars and twenty cents with an average cost of uh, sixty four dollars and eighty five cents i picked up five shares during the downturn as well so a market value of eight hundred and sixteen dollars and eighty two cents as you can see it's trading about one hundred and fifty two dollars and uh, eighty four cents and my return has been actually really good uh, i have a return of one hundred and uh, one hundred and thirty five hundred and thirty five point sixty seven percent so moving on to the next company we have a uh, Microsoft Microsoft is actually one of my favorite companies to actually buy I think it's gonna do well in the future I think it's doing well right now so they have a lot of uh, they are diversified into a lot of uh, uh, tech technology sector so uh, so I at the moment i'm actually up about 602 dollars and uh, 52 cents and i own eight shares in this company 
and my average cost was about two hundred and fifty fifty eight dollars and eight cents so i'm up 29.16 percent and this company has a dividend yield of 0.67 percent which is actually really really good because anything like i said I, anything uh, above six percent i do not really want a dividend yield i think that that's really really high even though the company is really good i think but with that uh with that much dividend yield point over six percent is really high and risky for me so i like my dividend yield anything below uh five percent is good so uh moving on to the next one which is going to be uh number nine gm i am i have a return of four hundred and ninety dollars and fourteen cents in the company and as you can see my average cost in the company is about $22.90 and as you can see it's trading about 4, so 54 it's trading today at $57.91 uh, this company has actually paused the dividends I'm not sure I, I haven't been following uh, them a lot to know actually what's going to happen with the dividend if they're bringing it back or not but from the start um, I really did not have uh, focus uh, I really didn't buy gm because of the dividend actually bought this because uh, i would it was a uh, mad cheap and also i th uh, when i checked the balance sheet of this company i see they were actually really in a good standing and they're not really going anywhere so i bought this uh, company because i think i could see a, a much more profit in the in the year in years to come so and as you can see i'm actually up 152.88 percent uh since i bought it with my average cost of 22 dollars and 90 cents so if this company brings the dividend back actually i think that that would be great at the same time if they do not bring the dividend the dividend back uh it wouldn't i wouldn't actually be surprised also but i think i but my reason for buying the company was just to make uh just to be in the game for 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 the for the electric vehicle and also because our GM is one of the OGs of the of the of the car manufacturers. So and also one of you would actually see GM in uh, a lot of uh, 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 investors a portfolio like Warren Buffett uh, for example actually uh, owns, uh, owns a lot of GM uh, shares. So uh, that seems uh, so. Let's move on to the next one which will be number 10 uh coca-cola so every i think every i think we could see every dividend uh investor has coca-cola in their own in in the portfolio and as you can see i'm already it's already given me a return of 205 dollars and 30 cents and i own 65 shares in this company with an average cost of 49 dollars and 45 cents so as you can see uh it's trading today at $52.60 and which also has a good dividend yield of 3.06%. So uh, this company is a company I'm actually going to, going to be adding more and more and more and I've actually turned my drip on, uh, on to reinvest my dividend back into the com company automatically. So uh, this is one of the my top, th uh, top three beverage company basically. So uh, I really like this company a lot. So uh, moving on to the next one, which is going to be uh, my bo the, the bonus, uh, the, the bonus, I, I know I said 10, but now I'm gonna give you 11, which is a CVX. So which is a Chevron, uh, which has given me back around uh, $273.02 since I owned this year. So uh, Chevron is traded at $113.40 and as you can see I own 16 shares and some fraction of shares added to it and actually I have an upcoming dividend that's coming up on the, on, on, that's coming up uh, I think next, next month, yeah, next month so and I have an average cost of, a cost of $96.73. I also started picking up Chevron also during the downturn. But I think it went all the way down to around, just to be sure, $85. $85. So I started picking it up, I think, around 87 I think. And as time goes, uh, I picked it up a little bit higher. 
but I would I always pick the I always pick Chevron up uh, below a hundred dollars. Then I uh, I think I'm still gonna be buying more and more in the company. I think uh, it's uh, it's a good company. They're well div uh, diversified, and uh, and I hope they keep bringing more good news on how they actually going to uh, be going green. And because I don't think uh, I don't think uh, the people are gonna focus more on uh, more on uh, more on electric. I think people are gonna focus more on electric vehicle in the in the future. So I would like them to actually as the environment change. I want I want them to also change with the environment also. So that seems to be the last one uh, I'm going to talk about today. And let me know what you think about this video in the comment down below. And also, uh, let me know actually what positions you actually up on in your portfolio. Also, I would really like to get uh, to chat with you guys about it and maybe learn one or two things about uh, about how your portfolio is actually doing. So uh, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.